anybody come talk to us yet. An engineer, an architect. We haven't had any of the past administrators at the uh, facility come talk to us. We haven't talked to any maintenance people. We are in the dark about what is going to happen around at the HAP Center and what we're going to inherit if we have to take it. Now, the, the, we all know the school board needs the Spain Howard building and we're all trying to work as hard as we can toward that and I hope it works out. And I'd also like to put in a little plug for their levy to pass. They're just trying to break even on this levy. We need it to pass and, and, and I'll so I'll leave on the school board. But Carol's here tonight and best of luck on that. Um, all right. So we haven't really talked to anybody as a council. I don't know individually if people have or not, but uh, we also haven't heard, we haven't had uh, our representative up here, Mr. Dorman, hasn't come up to talk to us. Our state senator has done some emails back and forth with people, but he hasn't come up to talk to us, giving us any idea how much the state's going to help us. The state has, has <coughs> let the thing go to the point because they knew for years that, that it was going to falter and they were going to get rid of it. They went through a dog and pony show to decide it was going to go Higginsville or Marshall, but we all know how those dog and pony shows go, and we knew how it was going to go before it happened. Um, so, and we've known for years that this was going to happen, just didn't have a date. Um, let's go over a couple problems on these buildings. We, we've got a, several Fitzgibbon hospitals out there. We've got one known as the Forensic Building or Greenwood, as you first came in on the right. We've got Wilson and Jameson, which on each side, of the northern part on each side of where the old swimming pool was. They've been closed down. The, Gas has been turned off, and you know what happened when the buildings don't have heat. We've got uh, the, the north side of the main administration building, otherwise known as JKNL. That area, uh, for years, we were discussing using things and putting like uh, daycare in there and things like that. It, the state said it would not pass their regulations to put kids in there, or even, or even, even the clients we had out there. They finally took all the clients out of there too, and, uh, and, the, and now there's not even office space in there. This is how the state took care of their newest building, which is the dietary building, after they decided to get rid of dietary and, and, uh, and have the consumers eat uh, regular meals prepared by their health, their, by their age, which is a great idea. They decided, that, uh, in their wisdom, to go ahead and force the met down the drains of the dietary building so it can't be used for anything. 